Uh, meantime, the U.S. 2020 presidential election between incumbent President Donald Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden has been riddled with lots of intrigues, controversies, suspense, and truths. Our correspondent Destiny Momo gives a review of the electoral journey between the two political giants and the aftermath of the November 3 polls. Her report. It's risky, but you got to get out. The 45th president of the United States of America, Donald Trump, and the 46th president-elect, Joe Biden, had some pivotal moments from a dizzying election year. At the beginning of the year 2020, things were looking up for the Republican president. Impeachment trial ended in Senate, with him being cleared on two charges brought by Democrats. The fallout from the Mueller report was no longer hanging over his head, the economy was roaring and prospects of his re-election looked relatively strong. Trump delivered a coronavirus address March 11, 2020, after weeks of downplaying the coronavirus threat, with cases skyrocketing in the country. Trump delivered a rare national address from the Oval Office in an attempt to reassure a G3 public. We're years ahead on vaccines and they're going to be distributed very shortly. I mean, frankly, it's a big political deal going on where they don't want it to be before the election. For Biden, he won South Carolina primary on February 29, 2020, after disappointing finishes in the lower Caucasus and New Hampshire primary. Joe Biden's presidential bid looked bright. Democratic hopeful Bernie Sanders dropped out on April 8, 2020, trailing Biden badly in delegates, with the coronavirus outbreak paralyzing the nation. Bernie Sanders became the final rival for the Democratic nomination to drop out of the race. The first Trump-Biden debate happened on September 29, 2020, needing something to turn his fortunes around. Trump came into his first debate with Biden looking for a fight. My transition team is already working on what I'll put forward in the next Congress to address the multiple crises we're facing, especially our economic and COVID crises. After a large turnout of voters for both candidates, making the largest in America's 240 years democracy, Biden won convincing both with majority votes and electoral college. Despite this, U.S. President Donald Trump said he will leave the White House if the Electoral College confirms Joe Biden's victory in the election. But speaking to reporters, he suggested he might never concede, alleging again without evidence there was massive fraud in the vote. In a dramatic form, Trump's supporters invaded the Capitol Hill to stop the certification of Biden's victory on the 6th of January. Worse still, the president urged the supporters on which led to him being suspended from Twitter and Facebook come January 20, 2021. Joe Biden and his running mate Kamala Harris will be sworn in as the 46th president of the United States, barring another unforeseen circumstances. Destiny Momo, reporting for Plus TV Africa. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.